What is going on, everybody? Patrick over here at Ghost Picks ATS, the number one sports consultants in the business. I'm fired up early this morning. Uh, tough one yesterday. I mean, just all over the board. Just winner, 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 winner. Top tier loser. It is just brutal. Um, so we'll go right on through the card. We'll give it a quick recap. Now look, free play is in the early game today, 1 p.m. This video is out by 10. You got a couple hours. If I'll also have a video later tonight. Um, with NASCAR, I know, uh, you know, not many people are into NASCAR, but it's Talladega weekend, so give you a little baby insight there, uh, in the second video today, but game is one o'clock, free plays at one o'clock, so, you know, get this video in, get it out, get it on the way. Um, first though, recap, I'm gonna go through all the winners that were talked about, and then we'll dive right on into the big loser of the day. Uh, so first off, free play, Grizzlies. I was on a little skid for free plays, so I actually, you know, went to the premium card. Uh, the Grizzlies were a premium play as well. You know, when I'm struggling for, with free plays, uh, this is the only way to do it is go to one that the clients, uh, you know, pay for. So, gave you the Grizzlies plus three and a half. One on the court that was beautiful. That was our second tier NBA play uh, yesterday. Uh, just called it out almost to a T, as you'll see in this video right here. You know, we've seen the Portland Trail Blazers do it time and time again, where they come back at the end of the game, and whether or not they pull it out or not, it's a tight game. So I think if they win, it'll be very close down the stretch. Maybe a Lillard game-winning three to win by one or two, something like that. Uh, and that sure enough, that game got, came down to the final shot of the game. Damian Lillard had a shot to win, didn't hit it. Nurkic also had a shot to win, couldn't hit it. Uh, but pretty much to a T, uh, came down to the final shot. It was right there. Grizzlies pulled it out in a big, big fashion for us. Uh, and then, so yesterday, my original top tier play was the Atlanta Hawks over the Miami Heat, plus six and a half. Cl right before the game started, Clint Capella was announced out that, and backed off. Uh, he's one of those guys, he has such an impact on the defense and whatnot. Decided to, I um, had it as a five unit top tier play, decided to back off of it and release it as a, a money line lean. So, I mean, sure, we didn't get the five unit plan, but we did have the Hawks plus 220 on the money line yesterday. That cash with ease, a uh, little butt hurt, you know, that it, Capella was out and uh, changed the uh, unit total for us, but here nor there, you know, can't go back and take it away. So got a nice plus 220 win there. Uh, then we had a little sprinkle on a little parlay, a little, so I love some dogs yesterday. I love some crazy numbers uh and we took a little three-teamer a little half unit baby parlay on the uh houston rockets first half cash the okc thunder uh team over cash and then we had the thunder plus the nine and a half man had it all the way down to the stretch about to close out the parlay and uh the wizards could have missed down the stretch closed them out missed on that so two out of three which well don't count and then, um, so then the premium, we also had the Grizzlies on the money line as well at plus 130, plus 140. Uh, you know, love that one. And let's go ahead and dive right on to the top tier here. So top tier was the Nuggets. If you watch the game, the first possession of the game, Will Barton for the Nuggets, probably the third best player now, goes down with a bad hammy, doesn't play the rest of the game. I mean, for a, a top tier play, you, the first play of the game, one of the top players gets injured, it's you're hurting right off the rip. Uh, so they haven't lost as they lost Jamal Murray, but they have no depth. I mean, it is, they lost Murray, their starting point guard, and they also lost Morris, their backup point guard. So losing Barton, their starting shooting guard, you're talking about, I mean, they're bringing in backups to fill in these minutes already, and now you're going deep, deep, deep into the bench. You saw it last night. Anytime Austin Rivers came into the game, they got destroyed. He's it's the first game playing for the Nuggets, so I mean it, you can't doubt him. I uh, can't blame him or anything. But I mean I, I'm not a big plus minus guy. But while he was on the court, it was like minus 20. I mean it was just every time they got on the court, they either went at him on defense, or you know he he was incapable of doing anything on the offensive end. That hurt. Lost the Nuggets top tier. Um, so for the day, not bad. You know, all the leans and whatnot. We were four and two on all the plays. Uh, lost lost units on the day. So you know, again, another good day. But we're looking to bounce back. Uh, I'm fiery. I'm fired up. Uh, ain't too happy uh, whatsoever. You know, I love the Nuggets. 
I thought they matched up very, very well. I mean, Curry, sure, he had 30 points, but they were late in the game. And majority of them were damn when Austin Rivers was in the game. So in my write-up, I said that uh, Dozier and Campazzo are better defenders than Jamal Murray. And, I mean, last time, Curry put up 53 on Jamal Murray. This time, he had six points at the half. And that was because they ran with him full court all the way down the court the whole all game long. And then third quarter, they put Austin Rivers on him, and it was a freaking nightmare. Uh, but, once again... Good luck. God bless. Grind on. Bounce back. Uh, so for you today, look, you know, look to bounce back in a big way here. Uh, so my write-ups have been right on. So I'm feeling good about the plays. The Nuggets obviously hurts, but I mean, that's br absolutely brutal uh, with Barton going out before the game, like at, on the first tip of the game. Uh, so bounce back here today. One o'clock. Free play of the day. We got the Toronto Raptors at the New York Knicks. Put me in the, I'm doing it. First time in 12 games, or you know, the Knicks have covered 14 of 15. They've covered their last 11. Not today. This is not today. Nick Nurse will incorporate a zone versus this Knicks team. I have a feeling about it. The line's sitting at one and a half, which is a little sketchy in its own right. That line should no way be anything less than Knicks minus four and a half. Opened that two, was dropped down to one and a half. I'd almost classify this as a line that reeks, and Lord knows that I love those. Um, this is the game. And so, I mean, if you look at it from the Vegas line standpoint, I think it reeks. But then you look and you dive in. They match up pretty damn well versus the Knicks. So the Knicks' main scorers, R.J. Barrett and Julius Randle, so far this year. You got O.G. Ananobi and Pascal Siakam to guard those guys. The two top-notch defenders, OG Ananobi, maybe one of the best in the NBA, long, lengthy. He's going to give Randall a fit uh, if he's on him, Pascal himself. Uh, so give me the Raptors. Free play of the day, plus the one and a half. Obviously, a little spring on the money line at that point. Um, I love them. Let's go Raptors, baby. And biggest, biggest, biggest factor, which we've seen time and time again, they're fighting for a playoff spot. Knicks have already sealed the deal. They're in there. Uh this is every game from now on for the Raptors. And a 1 o'clock game, Saturday game, catch a team off guard. Give me the Raptors plus the one and a half and uh, catch you back here tomorrow. Maybe even, no, catch you back here tonight uh, if you're in a NASCAR. Uh, and we'll talk a little Talladega, why don't we? Good luck, God bless, grind on. Uh, catch you back here tomorrow for all you basketball folks. Peace.